The God that we worship is a covenant-keeping God. He has a part to play in the covenant that he has with us. We also do have a part to play. Almost always, he keeps his part of the covenant. But unfortunately, as humans, we disappoint God and we do not keep our part of the covenant. Therefore, we suffer from the consequences of breaking our covenant. But as far as he, God, is concerned, he is a covenant-keeping God. But even in our disobedience, even in our breaking of our part of the covenant, he is a merciful God. This is the story behind Psalm 74, a psalm by Asaph, a contemplation by Asaph. And the Bible says, O God, why have you cast off forever? Why does your anger smoke against the sheep of your pasture? Remember your congregation which you have purchased of old, the tribe of your inheritance which you have redeemed, this Mount Zion where you have dwelt. Lift up your feet to the perpetual desolations. The enemy has damaged everything in the sanctuary. Your enemies roll in the midst of your dwell meeting place. They set up their banners for signs. They seem like men who lift up. Axes are among the thick trees. And now they break down its carved works all at once. With axes and hammers. They have set fire to your sanctuary. They have defiled the dwelling place of the name of the ground. They said in their hearts, let us destroy them all together. They have burned up all the meeting places of God in the land. When we read from verse 10, it says that, Oh God, how long will the adversary reproach? Will the enemy blaspheme your name forever? Why do you withdraw your hand, even your right hand? Take it out of your bosom and destroy them. For God is my king from of old, working salvation in the midst of the earth. You divided the sea by your strength. You broke the heads of the sea serpents in the waters. See how Asaph is lamenting about their situation and is calling unto the Lord to do something. He's crying out to the Lord because it's as though the Lord has withdrawn his hand. And if the Lord has withdrawn his hand, it is because of the lifestyle of his own people. They have broken their part of the covenant. But he is a covenant-keeping God. But listen to what the Bible says. In verse 20 of Psalm 74, he says, Have respect, O Lord, to the covenant. For the dark places of the earth are full of the hands of cruelty. Oh, do not let the prayers return ashamed. Let the poor and needy praise your name. Arise, O oh God, plead your own cause. Remember how foolish, how the foolish man reproaches you daily. Do not forget the voice of your enemies. The tumult of those who rise up against you increases continually. Asaph is crying out to the Lord. Remember your covenant, O God. Yes, we have broken our part of the covenant. And so enemies have devoured us. But remember your covenant. Remember your covenant. And the truth is, the covenant-keeping God would always remember his covenant. Have you broken your part of the covenant and you are in trouble? Why don't you come to the Lord? And plead unto him and ask God for how long would you be angry be merciful unto me be merciful unto me and plead my cause remember your covenants of old remember how mightily you have saved me from old and have mercy and save me again if you are true about your repentance the covenant keeping God shall turn his eyes upon you remember he is a covenant keeping god and he shall plead your cause for you our heavenly father we have sinned against you we have hurt you in many ways we have done what is displeasing in your sight 
But oh God, how long would you be angry? How long would you be angry? How long would you withdraw your hand from us? If you withdraw your hand from us, where should we go? We are in trouble. So have mercy upon us and plead our cause. Is there any child of yours who is crying out to you that you have mercy and plead his or her cause? My prayer is that you would have mercy. You are the merciful Father. Have mercy on us and plead the cause for your children, for your own namesake. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen.